ایٹین ہنڈریڈ آرس پاکستان اسٹینڈر ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی سمیرا کمل دا ہیڈ لائنس فرسٹ پرائم منسٹر انوگوریٹڈ دا نیو پروجیکٹس فار ویلفیئر آف دا یوتھ انڈر کامیاب جوان نیشنل یوتھ ڈیولپمنٹ پروگرام ان اسلام آباد دس ایوننگ National Task Force for Polio Eradication has approved a National Emergency Action Plan against polio for next two years. President has called upon followers of all religions to shun differences and get united for common cause of humanity. Army Chief has stressed the need for global convergence on Afghanistan for economic uplift of the Afghans as well as regional peace and stability. Pakistan has allowed transportation of 50,000 metric tons of wheat and life-saving medicines from India to Afghanistan via Wagha border on a humanitarian basis. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three more Kashmiri youth in Sirinagar today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan inaugurated new projects for the welfare of the youth under the auspices of Kamyab Jawan National Youth Development Program in Islamabad this evening. The projects include Kamyab Jawan Merkaz, Kamyab Jawan Green Youth Movement, Kamyab Jawan Innovation League and Kamyab Jawan Talent Hunt Youth Sports League. Addressing the Kamyab Jawan Convention, he said the government is providing interest-free loans to over 4 million families to start new businesses, focusing on skill development and interest-free loans for construction of houses. The Prime Minister urged the youth to distinguish between good and bad by improving moral standards. He stressed the need for character building of the coming generations as per teachings of the Holy Prophet Khatamun Nabiyyin Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. National Task Force for Polio Eradication has approved a National Emergency Action Plan against polio for next two years. The approval was accorded at a meeting of the task force chaired by Prime Minister Imran Khan in Islamabad today. Speaking on the occasion, the Prime Minister directed that other immunization programs should also be synchronized with polio campaigns to achieve maximum coverage and effective results. He appreciated district administrations and provincial governments for their extensive and effective measures during polio vaccination drives across the country. The Prime Minister thanked international partners including WHO and UNICEF for their financial and technical support to polio eradication campaigns in Pakistan. He said the international community should come forward to help Afghanistan in the fight against polio and avert humanitarian crisis there. President Dr. Arif Alvi says Pakistan is promoting the message of tolerance and affinity among people of different faiths to make the world a peaceful place to live. Addressing the International Interfaith Peace Conference in Islamabad today, he said Pakistan as a responsible state is implementing religious freedom as enunciated by its constitution in conjunction with the Islamic principles. He called upon the followers of all religions to shun differences on the basis of their faiths and get united for the common cause of humanity. Referring to the situation in Afghanistan, he said the world should provide an opportunity to the country to take forward Afghan economy. Addressing the conference, Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Chaudhry Fawad Hussain said Islam spread in this part of the world through the teaching of Sufi saints. In his remarks on the occasion, Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi emphasized the need for inter-civilizational dialogue and interfaith harmony to save billions of people from conflict, poverty, disease and hunger. He said Pakistan has a rich tradition of tolerance, understanding and respect for cultural values of minorities. Shah Mahmood Qureshi further said Pakistan's vision and efforts stand in stark contrast with the policies and actions of BJP government, which is driven by racism and intolerance. Army Chief General Kamar Javed Bajwa has stressed the need for global convergence on Afghanistan with coordinated efforts for economic uplift of the Afghans as well as regional peace and stability. He was talking to Commander Qatar Emery Naval Force Major General Abdullah bin Hassan al-Sulaiti who called on him in Rawalpindi today. 
The Chief of Army Staff said Pakistan values its brotherly relations with Qatar and Pakistan Army also looks forward for enhanced defense and security cooperation with Qatar Armed Forces. The visiting dignitary acknowledged the professionalism of Pakistan Armed Forces and vowed to enhance cooperation in various fields. Representative on Afghanistan and Pakistan, Nigel Kasse, called on Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa in Rawalpindi today and discussed the regional security situation, including the recent developments in Afghanistan. The Army Chief said Pakistan values UK's role in global and regional affairs and it looks forward to enhance bilateral relationship. He re-emphasized that peace in Afghanistan means peace in Pakistan. Two soldiers embraced Shahadat during an exchange of fire with a group of externally sponsored terrorists in the area of Tump, Balochistan. According to ISPR, terrorists opened fire on a check post of security forces established to prevent move of these terrorists into built-up areas. Security forces responded with all available weapons in which terrorists suffered heavy losses. This is Radio Pakistan. As a goodwill gesture towards the brotherly Afghan people, Pakistan has decided to allow transportation of 50,000 metric tons of wheat and life-saving medicines from India to Afghanistan via Wagga border on an exceptional basis for humanitarian purposes. Spokesperson of the Foreign Office Asim Iftikhar said the decision to this effect has formally been conveyed to the charge the affairs of India at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The United States has announced that it will resume talks with Taliban next week in Qatar to discuss humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. According to U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price, U.S. delegation will be led by Special Representative for Afghanistan Tom West. Minister for Narcotics Control Ijaz Ahmed Shah has called for collective efforts by the society to eliminate menace of drugs from the country. Addressing the central drug burning ceremony in Islamabad today, he said all segments of the society need to take part in this fight against the menace. The Minister for Narcotics Control said the present government has formulated the first ever anti-narcotics policy. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred the three youth in Sirinagar today. The troops martyred the youth during a cordon and search operation in Rambagh area of Sirinagar. In a statement in Sirinagar, all party Suryat conference spokesperson said people of Jammu and Kashmir are living a hellish life under the shadow of more than one million Indian troops deployed in every nook and corner of the territory. Meanwhile, in a tweet, the Amnesty International said the arrest of Kashmiri human rights activist Khurram Parvez is yet another example of how anti-terror laws are being misused to criminalize human rights work and stifle dissent in India. The Amnesty asked India to focus on bringing accountability for human rights violations instead of targeting rights defenders. Meanwhile, a survey conducted by the British organization Oxfam said that 33% Indian Muslims had complained that they experienced discrimination at hospitals in India on account of religion. Sikh Yatris who are in Pakistan to attend the birth anniversary of celebrations of Baba Guru Nanak Dev Ji arrived at Kartarpur Darbar today. Tomorrow they will visit Gurdwara Rori Sahab in Amanabad and return back to India in the afternoon after completing their Yatra. And finally, the weather. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, smog and shallow fog is likely to prevail in plain areas of Punjab, while partly cloudy weather with light rain and light snowfall over the hills is also expected at few places in northern areas during night. To end the news, here are some of the headlines once again. Prime Minister inaugurated new projects for welfare of the youth under Kamyab Jawan National Youth Development Program in Islamabad this evening. National Task Force for Polio Eradication has approved a National Emergency Action Plan against polio for next two years. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three Kashmiri youth in Sirinagar today. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio.gov.pk.